I know, and they're responsible for a great many deaths. But I would be a lesser man if I did not serve this justice. I guess man just in terms of, like, gender, because, uh, yeah, you are not a man. You may, you may have some body dysmorphia there. How's it going everyone? My name's Graham and welcome to a demo of Lyra, the traitor Lingrave. I've been told that gameplay wise, it's a little bit like the Banner Saga. Narratively, it's kind of like Game of Thrones, but then everyone is furries. Not really, it's kind of, they're, they're more like uh, like Redwall or something. Every Everything is these little critters. 1427, Cardenock Forest, two weeks after the massacre at Dan Barrett. With this fucking rain. Ooh, potty melted bears. I already love this game. Shut your gob. <laughs> as soon as I get some food in it. Speaking of. Oh, the way they've done the 2D animation is really cool. It's like hand painted, but they kind of move around with like three dimensions. The two continue walking in silence for a moment. Things got awkward as hell between them. And they tried to determine who it was between them who actually stunk worse. They'd been walking around in these moldy robes for so long, it was hard to tell if they were the one who stunk or the other one, and it was too embarrassed to bring it up. <laughs> something or something. <laughs> it didn't know their ages, maybe he doesn't know their names either. That would be Pisius, the piss god. Did you hear that? Could be a trap. Somebody! Anybody! The two grip their sword hilts. Ah. I hope that's what Wait. they're gripping. I couldn't Grace. see their hands. You're howling soldiers! Please, I need your help! Zane Howland is dead. Please, they're after me! Who's after you? The mortars! Please help me! They'll kill me! They'll kill you too if they find you! You got a spear there. You want to fight them off a little bit? I'm, I'm hoping we work together here. In the distance, a party of mercenaries appear, wearing the crimson cloaks of House Mounters. Mounters? They just look like rabbits. We have a bear and a fox. I think we'll be fine. I think it sounds like we don't have a choice. There you are, Donovan. We've been looking for you. Look at these two Donovan. clowns. As in Lord Howland's ward. The one and only. Now why don't you hand him over to us, girly? Why don't you come and take him? Damn it, Lyra! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> he turned into Barney Gumble or something for a second there. Let's see. Okay, so just standard turn-based tactical grid, grid set stuff. You can see the order that we're going to be fighting in and all that. What are the chances I can shoot someone from this far away? I would guess not. Oh shit! Oh man, I might hit both of them if I do this. Oh, nuts. Sly Fox, he says. Yeah, but I kind of botched that one, it seems like. AoE damage as well for this one. See if I can hit them both. Parried! Alright, going from this far back is not useful whatsoever. Probably shouldn't bother with that. I'll move like two steps forward just to the next turn. Maybe I'm in a better, better tactical position to, to do something here. Donovan, man, you're gonna have to pull your weight in this battle. You're, we're, we're not helping you out for nothing, man. Oh, the animation in this is cool as fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man, they can walk so much further than I expected them to be able to. Oh, sweet. They fear no one. Oh, he actually landed a couple hits after all. Jesus, shit. Okay, Oakmont. I'm gonna need you to be the man of the hour here. I don't know if this game has anything like, uh, you know, extra damage if you're behind someone, so I'm kind of sneaking around just to test that out. What a badass bear. He doesn't even look like his picture, though. He's not wearing that, that cloak or that hood or anything like that. I only used two stamina to cross all that distance? That seems a little ridiculous, doesn't it? I'm gonna pound the shit out of you from behind. He parried it. That seems a little stupid that they don't have it set up that you're more likely to do damage from behind. Well, fine. I'll ground pound then. 
Smash it is. Parried again. Jesus. I guess maybe his speed has something to do with it? That seems kind of like a ripoff, though. I should have schooled that guy fighting from behind, right? Fuck, he did a lot of damage there. I think this is how Banner Saga, Saga is set up as well, with the health and the armor being tracked separately like that. Hopefully we can land a few quick stabs. Well, that didn't do anywhere near as much as I was hoping that it would. Oh! The red and the blue helps you distinguish uh, whether or not you're going to be attacking their health directly or their armor. And I think once you clear the armor, then it does just do damage to the, the health instead. I th think that's how Banner Saga was set up. Shit, I was hoping I could finish that guy off. Now he's going to be able to attack once more first. Shit. Ah! <laughs> he was very close to killing me. Oh, and he's running all the way across the map. There needs to be much larger limits on how much people can walk across the screen, right? That seems a little absurd. Pokemon gets to go again already? That seems quick, doesn't it? Well, we might as well kill this guy first, seeing as walking takes like no stamina, so it doesn't matter at all. Oh, but you only get to walk once per turn. So you can cross like the entire map, but you only get to do it once per turn. That's the trade-off that you gotta deal with there. you get out of here <laughs> that's a bit too much hey he got to walk twice that might be like a special ability he has or something though but it seems a little unfair doesn't it I'm gonna volley you so damn hard I can't can't from where I am the point blank it's not gonna cut it ah uh, shit not a lot I can actually do this turn because I'm still waiting for the cooldown on that one Good, at least Oakmont can run all the way over here and, and tussle things up a little bit. Parried again? Get the fuck out of here. It really makes it seem like the game lets you get away with too much in terms of the movement, though. I'm not sure how much I like that. It kind of defeated some of the strategy that normally would have been there, but maybe it opens up other windows of strategy. Hard to say. This thing for sure could have killed my... Uh, my fox already. I think the game was giving me a, a, a bit of a break there. Going a little easy on me. Slaughtered? Two. Injuries? Probably a lot. Unlocks? Zero. I mean, so I guess injuries would have be, been if someone on my team was felled. Thank you. I owe you both my life. You're welcome. Why were they after you? You nearly got us killed. Yeah, I'm a little pissy about it. You nearly got us killed just then. My apologies, Sergeant. I can make it up to you later, but for now, you cap Nortmon tonight. We need to get someplace safe. Did we exchange names at some place? Names. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I'm wondering. My friend was Sebastian Howland. He made certain I knew the names of all the best soldiers under our command. I heard what happened to him. I'm... I'm sorry. Uh, this is not the time or place. Lyra... We must leave before the rest of the mortars catch wind of this carnage. Did something weird just happen there? Wait, please, I still need That did help. not sound like Oakmont's voice. Not only is my life at risk, so too is that my contact in the bannered arches. Something weird went uh, something weird happened with the dialogue there. It's fine, it's just a demo, whatever. The bannered arches. The bannered arches. Well. We were just headed there ourselves. Praise the gods! You were! We were just passing through, right, Lyra? On our way to Dromsan. Well, yes, but... I've not seen my family in the better part of seven years, Lyra. God, what a crazy time to have lived in. But you, you remember back in history when everyone was animals? Crazy shit. The two begin to walk away, leaving Donovan behind. Donovan bubbles with tension, trying to find the right words to keep them there. Lyra stops in her tracks, looking down at the ground. Bjorn, after a few steps, notices she has halted and turns to face Lyra, her. Come on. We've got our own battles to fight. Vargenstein. Do you know what word you speak here? I know enough. Please, will you help me? Is that me? some sort of call to arms or something she can't refuse? Ignore him. 
That is Just like an honor binding word. It is my honor. Yes. The honor of I my knew it. I invoke the right of Bergenstein. You are bound to me, Lyra. Like your ancestors were bound to the monks of Canamore and House Blackwind before them. Is this guy like my a higher ranking person or like a, a royalty or something? He was a ward Lyra. to someone high ranking. The house we serve, I suppose. I'm sorry. But I can't turn my back on this. We will continue our journey to Drome, Sam. But first, I must service this hair. Maybe just say serve or something. There's uh, certain connotations with servicing someone that you're probably not trying to no, actually I invoke. So, I will accompany you on this. But once this is over, I must find my wife and sons. I don't know, you said your sons are like 11 or 12. They're probably part of the war already by now. That's about war in age, I'd say. I'm sorry I forced your hand, truly. I need your help. A lord hasn't enacted Wagenstein in over 200 years. You have handsome looking animals. Good reason to do so. I do. I was at Dan Bereth on the night of the slaughter, staying in the guest tower. Shortly after midnight, a chill in the air woke me. I looked out my window and saw Thane Lingrave moving through the shadows of the courtyard below. Lingrave? I oh, that was, he's I the guy from the title him. of the game. So I made my way as quickly as I could downstairs and into the night. I saw him. That fucking traitor. He let the mortars armies in, cut the throats of those... There's a way down, that fucking sounds in this accent that just has some extra venom to it, doesn't it? I, I tried to stop him, but once those gates were open, it, it was all over. The Thane rode out, headed towards Boulder, his elite by his side. I barely escaped with my life. So, this contact of yours... A representative of House Blackwind. Sebastian met with him monthly, but his murder, it all happened so fast. We've not had time to report his death to House Blackwood. Man, the animation on this hair is actually really great. He has a lot more expressive movements than these two. I do. All this speak of different areas and houses and stuff, I can see where the, uh, the Game of Thrones connections would come through. men after me once he realized I'd escaped, some of which you saved me from. The others, well... Let's just say they had me tied to a tree. I hope there's a character that's a big snarling dog and they call him the man. They tortured you. I'd rather not talk about it. But why would Lingrave want to kill your contact? Surely a, a missing Blackwind would only cause more trouble for him and his handlers. I don't know. I doubt Lingrave or Thane Mortars even know. The mercenaries they hired... It struck me that they might be in this purely for the sport. If we can reach the inn, then all of this can be over. The mortars, the bandits, House Blackwind will clean it all up. You haven't been in many wars, have you, Lord Donovan? The three continued onwards quietly. Shortly after, they see a ragged banner fluttering over the horizon, as this game does a crossover with Banner Saga, and the two <laughs> stories collide. These cute little animals are forced to fight Vikings. Aye, we are. Listen, take my advice. Go about your business if you must. But I wouldn't stay long if I were you. Why not? Mercenaries. They arrived this morning, set up a stronghold in the inn. They haven't killed anyone just yet, but I've been around those kinds of men before. They're itching. It's only a matter of time before someone's skin gets scratched. Well, where are you going? Me? To Boulder. I've got cousins there. I can sell my wares in their markets this season. I'm not risking my life a second longer. Longer. Well, thank you. Like this guy's and thick accent. We will be sure to move on as soon as our business is conducted. Traveler looks at Oakmont for a moment, trying to read him. Finally, he nods in agreement and walks off. If the mortars already have the inn, it will do us no good to charge the place. Let's split up and collect some intel on our situation first. Talk to the locals. Perhaps we can find a less conspicuous way inside. Splitting up isn't my ideal, but if you guys think it'll help, I guess we ought to. The Bannered Arches. 
Oh shit, the scenery in this is really fantastic. The So far the writing in the game seems really strong as well, just like, I, they feel like there's real characters. I know everything's like very fantasy and very unrealistic, but the characters talk to each other in a way that feels closer to real. They're not just like over-dramatizing things or anything like that. So I, I think that is actually more well done than I was expecting. But just seeing the scenery is unreal. I love this. If you're going to do a 2D drawn adventure, it either needs to be the behemoth style castle crashers cartoony as can be, or like hyper detailed stuff like this. Let's go with uh, the fox first. Excuse me, sir. Can I have a moment? Badass otter. I was just hoping to ask you a couple of questions uh, about the local inn. And about them mortars mercenaries that have taken over, no doubt. You strike me as the kind of man who doesn't miss much. My wife's dead. Killed in a raid. Oh, it was, it was years ago now, but I've got my boy and I need to protect. So I've got to keep my eye on things. Keep him out of Wear a helmet and sword at all times. Well, I reckon you're the kind of lass that brings danger wherever she treads. Is that a come on? Feels like a bit of a come on. I am, and you're in danger. I'm trying to save lives. Help me. I wouldn't be if I'd had a father like you. I'll go with the middle one. It seemed like it was laying it on a little too thick. understand what you're trying to do but I can't help I'm sorry I just can't I've got my boy to look out for please the men that have barred up your inn they're the true danger if they aren't removed you seem like an intelligent you don't have to help directly man just indirectly I won't waste your time I can't help you I won't risk it That's fine. You don't. I, I'm. You don't have to fight. Just give me some like intel here. Perhaps danger would have followed my shadow. Oh, it ended up going down that dialogue branch, anyways. I'm trying to put a stop to it. It's a sad state of affairs these days, where young pups like yourself went without a good wolf to show them the way. Wait, sure. is that a wolf, not a fox? I will help you best I can, but only as long as I feel my son is safe. I think that's probably fair. Well, maybe this is a wolf. They threaten the peace of the realm. I need to get in there. You're hoping I know of a back It's funny, I think that otters and wolves' children are both called pups. Not 100%. It's really funny that, like, the ultimate badass and then this cute little critter who likes stacking blocks both have pups for babies. Yeah, he's also he also was a pup at one point. If it's still open. The outskirts of town. Thank you. You may have just saved us from a great defeat. May the gods shine on you. Mm, I'd be curious to know what the gods are in this world. Leave this place as soon as possible. Thank you for your services, miss. Like do the otters have a different god than the wolves and the bears and the hares? Or do they all worship, like, men-type gods? Or do they all choose one thing that they were like, you know what? Clearly possums are the gods of this world. If god were to be made in the image of any animal, it would be a possum. This scene contains no voice acting. You look as if you've got your hands full. Oh, well, when you've as many cubs as I, I've two of my own. Rascals, the both of them. Ah, then you know. I do. Please, let me help you. Oakmont carries her basket of food. You're too kind, sir. Oakmont. Bjorn Orkmont. Bjorn? What brings you to town, Bjorn? I've not seen your face before. Nothing good or a friend's in town. No, you don't want to say a friend. Nothing good, I'm afraid. A shame. Am I able to help in any way? You've already shown me a kindness. Perhaps I can return a favor? Yes, we would like to use you as bait. 
in the inn. We're gonna shove you. We're gonna tie you to a chair and shove you through the front door of the inn. And while they're busy, you know, murdering you and stuff, we'll sneak up behind them. Is that cool? I carried your basket of goodies. You can be a sacrifice to help our strategy. Perhaps, milady. I'm looking for a way into the old inn. That was inside. Well, let's just say, I have a bone to pick with men like that. They are murderers, Bjorn. You'd do well to steer clear of that place. I know, and they're responsible for a great many deaths. But I would be a lesser man if I did not serve this justice. I guess man just in terms of, like, gender, because, uh, yeah, you are not a man. You may, you may have some body dysmorphia there. You speak as if you know them personally. Not personally. I'm a soldier, and a good soldier should always know the crimes of his enemies. I wish I could help, but I am nobody, and the place is barricaded from within. You cannot enter without them first desiring it so. Not at all? No back entrance or hidden passage? None that I'm aware of, though I'm perhaps not the most knowledgeable on the topic. Who would know? I, I cannot say, I'm sorry. Listen, thank you for your help, Bjorn, but I must attend to my cubs. I wish you all the best in your journey. Thank you. May the gods grant you a good rest, and grant it soon. That sounds like a final rest, like a, a, a good rest soon. That makes it sound like you're wishing she'll die. With these children? I doubt even the gods could accomplish such a feat. With a chuckle, ha ha ha, the lady gathers her cubs and carries on her way. That was a very useless encounter, but I guess not all three of them could be, you know, entirely useful. Excuse One me, of them had to be a dud, right? Oh, darling, please. This looks more like a wolf. No Let's see if we can recruit her. She seems like she'd be a badass. But then they'd maybe be com uh, competing for the alpha of our group, right? What a handsome name for such a handsome family. Yeah, that sounds like something the big bad wolf would say before eating Red Riding Hood, you know? Come, come. You must have a drink with me, Donovan. A glass of red, perhaps? Or, dare I say, white? I don't really know what she's getting at by, like, dare I say, white. Is a glass of the red blood? It sounds like she's just gonna eat us. I'm curious why white is so extra flirtatious, so I'm gonna say white. Oh, well, I suppose. I shan't be joining you in that. Even the best white tastes nothing short of bile. <laughs> now, <laughs> she made it seem like it was like a sexy, fun thing. Turns I, out she just hates it. I do. Uh, yes. Uh, it's about the battered arches. That awful place. And why would you presume I know anything at all about such a den? Oh, there's no animation on this character what yet. What to say about me, young man? I just... I mean, yes, I admit to have frequented the place now and then. But can you really blame I'll just move the mouse around to make it look like there's animation going on in this scene. There we go. That looks better, doesn't it? His estate. If only I'd known, that would mean living on my own as a trophy while he gallivants across the countryside on business, betting every goddamn farm girl that turns his head. I deserve a drink and a handsome lad every now and then, don't I? Don't I? Yeah, of course, no arguing that. You're gonna be that pushy about it. Oh, those bastards. Why didn't you say so, dear? Of course. What did you want to know? Those mercenaries. They've boarded the place up. Indeed they have. Right nasty lot, that bunch. Kicked the lot of us out as soon as they arrived. Kept the barmaid, though. Poor thing. Poor Oh, that's really dark, actually. I didn't what want to know bear? about that. This game is supposed to be about happy young forest animals. Oh, how enthralling. Are you about to involve me in a bit of political espionage, my dear? No? Too bad. I could use some excitement around here. It's not like my useless husband gives me a... Oh, she really has it well, against a lot against that her? guy, doesn't she? I did see someone matching that description, yes. She was seated right by the door when those rascals burst in. Smacked her hard across the face with a nearby flagon. I... I didn't see what happened to her after that. Probably nothing good? I really... I really doubt they, like, bought her a nice dinner or, like, took her to a, a, a nice night out on the town or anything after that. Uh, I'll just leave. 
the second, well, I don't know, maybe she knows a different second entrance or something that I could go. I mean, it feels unlikely, but she might know something different. Do you know of any other way to gain entry Such to the end? a secret passage. How exciting would it be if I did? It wouldn't be a very good secret Sadly, if, like, everyone in town knew that, right? Such information. My husband is a lord. He might have known. But he's sadly away on business right now. Now all of a sudden it's just business? Marble instead of him going around banging Donovan. everyone on the countryside? But Donovan, my dear, we were only just starting to get to know each other. Please, stay. I mean, they're have both mammals, and there's not really the size difference that there normally is with animals. But I don't really want to think about a rabbit and a wolf getting it on. That's a, that's a side of the story that I don't need to know. I like the way that this is kind of imprinted on the screen. The bannered arches, it's like, it's just kind of hidden in the corner, a little bit transparent. It's kind of, there's just something cool about the way that it's, it almost feels integrated into the scene, even though it like isn't. There, I, I don't know, for some reason there's something about that that visually is quite appealing. To the well, then. There's not really any other way. Oakmont throws a rope down the mouth of the well. It swallows a surprising length of it before a faint sound can be heard below. The three lower themselves down the ominous chute, brushing the thick clumps of moss that line the wet stone walls. Finally touching ground, they find themselves in a secret tunnel that leads beneath the inn. Oakmont lifts a torch mounted to the wall. Fumbling in a pouch tied to his belt, he takes out a small flint and strikes it. As they feel their way through the dark back towards the inn, they talk in whispered tones. These tunnels for? Oh, before your time, probably. Drought of 1399. Crown ban the sale of liquor. What little wheat Those and grain we mad have men. swallowed up by the granaries. You know how it is, though. Separate a man from his drink and he'll just find another way. These are bootlegging tunnels. Weird that they make alcohol seem like such an important integral part of society. It's like a little bit of a social commentary there that I don't want to get too deep into. They press on using the dim flickering light of the torch to guide their way. Getting close. I can hear sounds above us. I didn't know any better. I'd say they're having a party. Hey, maybe they're a little drunk. Might be a good time yeah, to get a surprise attack. Listen, when we get in there, there's no telling what might happen. A battle. A battle's gonna happen. I can tell you. We may have to fight our way in. Yes, of course. Was that not the whole point? Donovan lifts a trap door in the floor of the earthen fruit cellar and peers into the gloom. The three enter the main part of the inn from a side door and aren't immediately spotted by the mounters' mercenaries. Oh, they got a big bear on their side, but also like a mouse? And a little, what would that be, like a beaver? I can't really tell what that is. Oh, several bears. Those are all bears. All the mercenaries are drinking from flagons of beer, laughing and celebrating. A young barmaid, frightened and carrying more beer for the mounters, is being jeered at as she Come approaches on, them. Darling. We're just a bit dry over here. <laughs> Maybe she likes it dry, Captain. Come here, lovely. I'll show you a thing or two. Donovan slowly raises his eyes towards the ceiling. Strung up from the rafters by two rough cords of rope hangs the limp corpse of a limp female bear. I, did, did you really have to reiterate how limp it was? I get the idea. It's a, it's a corpse. It's, it's limp. There aren't many other ways that corpses tend to be. Limp is probably... it doesn't need to be said twice. <laughs> Donovan's contact. Ah, shit. Well, that's no good. Oh, up there! Was that there before? I don't think it was. It, it probably only revealed itself after he raised his eyes to look up there. Jesus Christ, that's gruesome. Blood drips from her mouth. Her stomach has been cut open and her entrails dangle from the wound, dripping onto the giant table below where the mounters are gathered. That's fucking gross. Oh, yeah, there's all the blood on the table and everything. Jesus, you guys, what a mess. Donovan loses it. He quickly becomes erratic in his rage. Those barbarians. We're here to help you because of Vergensplurgen. You're not allowed to lose your mind and get, like, ruin our ambush that we got going on here. You gotta take it slow. Hey, yeah. Did we just say that at the same time? Weird. No, you moron. What have you done? 
Well, you've made this a lot harder than it needs to be. I wish that there was some way to show that these guys are all like drunk. <laughs> <laughs> and that this might be made a little bit easier for us by the fact that they are indeed all drunk. Well, I might as well try and hit both of these guys. God, why is everyone so good at parrying that shit? And then that didn't even do any goddamn damage. Shit. That went terribly. That was a terrible first turn again. Lyra, you're just you're not a big standout here. Hey, did you guys level up or something? I think everyone has more health than they did before. Oh, god damn it. That was too much fucking damage. Donovan, you better step up your game, buddy. I need you to make, like, a big difference here. Oh, good, it was parried. Ah, I wonder if you get rid of the armor, then if they're more likely to take damage to something else. Like, uh, if... if, if they have full armory, they're more likely to parry attacks for their vitality and things like that. I can't remember exactly how it's set up in Banner Saga. Shit, he's just coming in with that huge bludgeoning weapon there. Fuck. All of them ganging up here is not going so well. That bloody table's really disgusting. It makes me feel so bad for that character. Fuck, Lyra's gonna get fainted here. Like, then this other bear's just gonna walk around the other side, like... I can't defend against all this. What the hell? What the hell am I supposed to do? When you're all ganging up on one character like that, seems like some pretty major BS to me. We're going the long way around, and we're gonna try and lay it all out on this stupid piece of shit. Smash your way through. One more big hit there. And we could try and take out that guy's armor, but I'm gonna try and go for like a killing blow here instead. The leader, I have the leader isn't even in the battle yet. Obviously he's stronger than this other one, right? I wish there was a way to move this out of the way temporarily. Unless, oh, I thought maybe I could just uh, drag the map around or something. Shit. Well, Lyra is pretty well pooched. I need to use this one to finish finish this character off. That's good. At least I was able to finish them off. Uh, try and take out this bear next, I guess. Oh, but now I'm just gonna die, right? Good work, Donovan. I was like, not bad or anything. It's just that Lyra is for sure fucking dead now. I would be shocked if I still... I, these characters have a lot of health. It sucks that Lyra is dead, but I might still be able to actually win this. It's just not gonna go great. Not gonna, not gonna make it through Scott free the way I thought I might. Why can't I hit someone? To all adjacent enemies. Come on, well then just fucking use it. There, that's how you use it. I was doing it wrong before. I guess I should have set him up. I should have set him up in the middle there. Then he actually could have used it against all of them. That was a massive waste, considering it takes three turns for that to load back up. If you use something that is meant to damage the the armor against someone who no longer has armor. I'm not sure exactly how that is meant to work in the game. How that's calculated. Not looking so good there, Oakmont. Someone's going to have to survive this battle. It's not looking good for us. Try and take out as many different armors as possible. Might as well direct a few attacks kind of around the group there, get everyone a little bit hurt. It might make things easier for me. Uh, fuck. Okay, so if he uses armor attacks against someone who has no armor, then it doesn't do anything. We have learned that now. Oh shit, come on, man. That sucks. He's not gonna be able to... Not gonna be able to contribute a whole bunch before he dies. And believe me, he's about to die. Hey, his vitality is only three? I thought he had like five or something. We might be able to pull out a stab and actually finish him off then. Oh, well done, Donovan. Good for you, bud. Thanks for picking it up and getting getting yourself involved here. 
Glad to have you on board all of a sudden, you know? Well, might as well use this guy on- use that on the guy who has more armor to try and cut through so goddamn close. Man, I should have done a better job protecting Lyra, because this battle was clearly set up for me to win. Like, it's going very easy on me. It gave me characters who have such an insane amount of, like, health and everything to work with. And, uh, I squandered it. It didn't... did not go well, I would say. Quite terribly. Ah, you... he should have been... should have sent him to take out this character. Well, we're gonna zero him out fully. Well, never mind, he blocked it. <laughs> I should have got him to go kill this guy, though, rather than wasting his turn fighting this bear, because now he's dead. So that was, uh, that was poorly done. Should not have ran it out that way. You get back here, you're gonna run across the map. I hate that characters can do that in this game. Well, guess what I'm doing? Hey, when we're side by side, I'm totally noticeably bigger than that bear. Suck it, Mouter's leader. I'm even an even bigger, meaner bear than ye. Finish this guy off. Yeah, so running across the map is stupid because if everyone can do it, then it literally has no effect on anything. I hope they reconsider how they have that functioning in the game. Pitiful, he says, as he's getting bludgeoned to death. He only has the one move that can actually attack life, which is... This isn't gonna... This is not gonna work out. God damn it, dude. If he would have just stayed there and committed to attacking me, I think he could have actually finished me off. If I would have not botched that one move with Donovan in particular, where I, I should have killed that one hair sooner, then this would have been a guaranteed win. Right now, he could turn around and do 10 damage. I'm not entirely certain that he can't. I clicked end turn. I clicked end turn on accident. Fuck me. Well, at least he parried a bunch of shit. That was fucking... That was aggravating, though. I was trying to click... I was trying to click his stupid... His stupid panel. The end turn was in the way. And now I'm just gonna die, right? Because this guy's gonna turn around and do enough damage? That sucks. That's a shitty way. Fight back? Alright, well let's attempt to do a little better this time, hey? Maybe not fuck everything up quite so badly? Yeah, just miss everything again. That's great, Lyra. Great contribution to the group. Hey, not everyone is surrounding Lyra this time. Now they're all surrounding Donovan. I guess <laughs> it remains to be seen if they all actually bother attacking him, though. They might kind of spread out their attacks a little bit better. Hey, quick, easy, easy death there. That one is quite easy to deal with. Sneak around back for a quick slash attack. And Donovan. What can you bring to the table here? Well, parried that quite easily. Not a lot of damage. Doesn't do a ton of damage. He's great for absorbing damage, though. He has a lot of health. Hey, he left himself with the exact amount of health that Oakmont can deal in damage. So thank you. Made that nice and easy for me. Let's see what a close-up volley like this can do. They weren't quite close enough together to do it properly, so that's too bad. Couldn't get the most out of it then, after all. Parried, but it still took damage there, so I guess it wasn't a full parry after all. Why is this guy left with, like, his full amount of health? How did he get away with that? How, probably because he keeps parrying everything. What a dick. <laughs> Donovan somehow squeaking by with one health. Hey, yeah, line yourselves up around Oakmont, because then he can ground pound you guys. Uh, it doesn't really matter when you both are are either out of armor or at least damn near out of. They have these going on. He use, the leader can use Rally, and so these two guys both get plus three stamina at the start of each turn. That's what those plus threes on the screen are. But he's also crippled, because I 
get either because he's missing his shield or I did too much damage or something. Well, he Donovan's not crippled, so hard to know exactly why that came into play. But yeah, he can't. Uh, he's only getting his plus one. He's got the plus three and minus two going after him every single time. Hey, oh, is it going to be one one damage short? Come on. What a shame that is. Should have been able to finish it off. Donovan will get the killing blow, though. He'll he'll end in no problem. Pretty much guaranteeing he's going to die, though, once the lieutenant or leader, whatever you want to call him, gets his chance to lay an attack down. Is he going to do it? Is he just, or is he going to go for Oakmont? Yep, he took the took the easy kill there, as as he probably should have, honestly. Hey, the volley and ricochet and stuff are actually quite good. They just don't work from any sort of distance. They got you. Got to be pretty much right up close for it. Come on, one, one shy of killing this guy again. Now, what's he gonna do? Run across the entire map? Hey, he stood and fought for a for a change. That never happens. And then he ran away. Just not the full amount away. We'll give him a quick stab to finish him off. Then, right from behind, the depths await you. Slaughtered. Four. Injuries. Not zero. Donovan's pretty much dead. I would count that as an injury, I think. The mercenary captain lies on the floor as he bleeds to death, choking on his own blood. Gruesome. Donovan approaches him. He looks kind of hardcore, doesn't he? I'm going he? to take your head for what you've done. That's even more gruesome, man. Try not to be so dark and horrible it? about it. What do you have to laugh about? You're, you're too late. Well, yeah, she's <laughs> she's hanging dead from the roof. Definitely way too what late. Mean too late. What's he talking about? You, you've killed us. So what? It doesn't matter. We'll still win this war. Who? Why? Why do these people, villains and stuff, always have such loyalty? Donovan steps forward. Oh, like you I didn't get to read that. My, murdered Sebastian. <laughs> you think you'd be more concerned about the fact that you're dying rather than being like, ha, our cause will win, though. I'm already dead. You think I'm going to tell you anything? You already know of Lingrave's betrayal. I'm not giving you more. Torture him? String him up. Fuck this guy. Pain or death. And maybe you won't tell us anymore. But you should pay for what you did to Donovan's friend. Oakmont, grab some rope. Let's string him from the rafters and spill his guts. Is it not enough to have murdered me and my men? Yet humiliate me. Yeah, it's kind of payback, man. That's clearly what you had done. Oakmont grabs a coil of rope and begins to tie it to one of the captain's You're wrists. Nothing. You're not savages. Eye for an eye, buddy. You basically asked for it. After tying up both his wrists, Oakmont throws each rope to these two, I assume. Donovan draws his dagger and goes Wait. to slice open this dude. Wait. It's not giving me time to read that don't. stuff. What are the mortars' plans? Why are we too late? An assassin. They, they hired an assassin on the way to the capital, to Dawn's Point. <laughs> it's too late. Soon the king will be dead. War has come. Well, That's assuming you guys paid for a good assassin. Maybe you cheaped out, though. Not. Now let me die in peace, you bitch. Not wanting to hear anymore, Donovan plunges his knife into him, I guess. The captain chokes on his blood more and starts to shake, his guts hanging from his wound. He soon dies. Oakmont and Lyra let go of the rope and he collapses to the ground. Donovan brushes tears from his face and wipes his blade on his gabson.
The front doors of the bannered arches burst open as Lyra, Oakmont, and Donovan step out into the late afternoon rain. The three look somber. Saint Lingrave escaped. He deserves to be punished. His treachery runs deep. I still wish to see my wife and sons. This must be taken care of. Our friends, the soldiers who perished at Danborough, they deserve justice. Hmm. He was headed to Bowley, you say? I, I believe so, but, but what of the mercenaries? Why is this donkey just a donkey? He's not anthropomorphic in any way. Guess they still need to get around somehow, and horses are just less cool. Ira and I aren't the kind to keep the company of kings. We do more to inhibit you than help you. You're... You're suggesting I'll go on my own to Dawn's Point. You're the ward of Thane But what if he just invokes Furblishblur again and then you have to go with him? Donovan. Us. They won't even let us through the front doors. Yes. You're right. You're right. You guys are smelly peasants and no but one will let you near this place. I shall ride south to Dawn's Point to try and warn King Blackwind before the Mortis' plans can succeed. And we will seek vengeance in Boulder. Be pretty extreme if it did coward, succeed. That traitor, Lingrave. Astrid. Ivor, Leaf. I will see you. But not yet. Donovan turns to leave. I wonder if in this game it would actually have branching stories and you control both of them? I figure this would be separate. And that we would just follow Lyra and Bjorn. Donovan. Keep safe. And you. Lyra. Yes. Thank you. For everything. You too, Oakmont. Oakmont gives a reciprocating nod. You can just I'll try and get him to do it here. Nice a nice affirmative nod. There he is. He's a great nodder. Well to call you my friends. Donovan hurries off down the path, beckoning a nearby stableman. Lyra and Oakmont turn and start walking out of town, weapons slung over their backs. Aye, if we hurry, we can make it by morning. Give that son of a bitch what he deserves. House Valenfax won't appreciate a violent approach, you know this. <laughs> Bayon, if they have a problem with it, then those damn rabbits can kiss my sodden ass. With a chuckle, the two disappear into the tree line. It's probably, yeah, end of the prologue. This this game is by Monte Monte Barrow, which is kind of a funny, <laughs> funny dev team name. Cool. I had been scoping that one out for close to a week, I think. I think Alpha Beta Gamer were the ones who first drew it to my attention. And the art style just looks so cool, I was mostly excited about that, and that did kind of end up being the best part of it. The narrative, the story, and everything seems really great too, actually. More in-depth uh, than I was expecting, and very well written. It might take a little bit to get used to the characters' names and the moving parts and stuff, but hey, same as like any TV show or book or anything. It would just take a little bit of uh, the, something like a prologue to get used to all that. I think that is... An incredibly solid start to a game that was very cool the battles were the weak point for sure though the battles could definitely use a lot of improving being able to walk everywhere was stupid as hell not being able to do back strikes or anything like that for extra damage was kind of lame the amount of stamina felt like near infinite I never had to make a choice of what to do next it could just definitely use some improvements to improve the feel and the tactics of it, because right now it doesn't feel like there's a lot of strategy. You just run across the entire map, stab each other a few times until someone runs away from someone else. It could also use a few improvements just to the UI and stuff. It all looked really good, but it, it needs an option to like hide it so I can properly see someone's health and stuff like that. That, that would be useful. And to not have that bullshit with the end turn in the corner, that was a very unfortunate little circumstance. Lyra, the trader, Lingrave. I'll have a link down below to their website if you guys want to follow along with the development. I know I'll be curious to see where it goes. Let me know down in the comments what you thought of this game. If you'd like to see more, what your favorite part of it, what, what you thought worked, didn't work, any, anything like that. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.